Hey everyone, it's been about a year since I did the uh, SuperCap hybrid car battery and I think it's time to check it out because I still have the setup that I had in part 8 of the video where we shrinkified it. Uh, the only difference is of course if you watch part 9 was that we took out the monitoring hardware because we didn't need it anymore. And I probably fried the hardware anyway when I was playing with it. Regardless, it's still the same. Uh, I am shooting this today on Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2018. So we're about one week shy of a year. But I finally have a, a, an actual day off that I can shoot it. So let's go on over to the car and check it out first. And see how it is. Sorry I'm doing this all handheld for the first part of this video. And before we even open it up, let's take a look at the little gauge. As you can tell, it rained last night. And let's see if I can get in there. Okay, well, you probably can't read it very well, but it does say 13.2 volts. So, let's zoom off. And by the way, it's about 35 degrees right now, so let's unlock. Yep. Get in the car. And I'm sure the voltage is already starting to drop just a little bit because all the lights are on. But, yep, you can see, yeah, 12.9, it's perfectly fine. So, let's start the car. So, even after a year, it's gone through all the heat of the summer, and now we're back in winter, it starts perfectly fine. And, just to show that, yes, we actually did still start on the battery case. Let's get out. And yes, it is still there, starting the car. So, let me let it recharge real quick from the startup. I'll yank it out and we'll go down to the bench and we'll do some uh, one-year testing and see how well it works. So here it is, out of the car, not even cleaned off yet. Let me get a paper towel here. Because uh, that's a year of being underneath the hood, going through the heat, the cold, the rain, the mess. But, yeah. So let's pop it open because I haven't even popped it open yet. You can see the hinges are still dirty. And see if it's still dry inside. The seal still feels good. And it looks bone dry. It also does help that I put two of these little desiccant packs in here too. But they don't even look like they've absorbed that much moisture. So that's good. Here's one. Let me see if I can fish out the other one because I have a second one in here. Down here at the bottom. Here it is. Yep, I threw two of those in there just for the heck of it, just to make sure everything was okay. So now we're at a resting state right now. It hasn't done anything. Uh, let's leave everything connected and let's check the voltage on each super cap to see if they're still within a relatively good range. There we go. This way you can see it a little bit better. Uh, switch to AC or DC because it always defaults to AC. Pain in the ass. And let's see what we got here. So this is the positive side. Let's start with the first string here. 2.65. What is the whole amount right now? Okay, we're resting at 13.3, which is right where the battery usually rests, around 13.2 to 13.3. So that's correct. So 13.3. And we have 2.65. 2.65. Two point six eight, two point six seven, and two point six five. That that is like absolutely no variance. Oh, and by the way, don't mind the people you hear upstairs. Sorry, remember it is Christmas Eve, so there is a lot of family. I'm working with what I got here. Let's test the second string. Two six four, two six five. Two six seven, two six nine, and two six seven, two six eight. So even this string is really good. And remember, I have no balancing on these whatsoever. These are just straight drop in, and I haven't done anything else with it. I didn't put any circuits or any crazy stuff on it. That's just the way these capacitors have ran now for over a year. 
And of course the battery itself, because remember we're going through a little, I don't even think you can see that right now. Yeah, right down there you got the uh, one tenth of an ohm 25 watt resistor in series between the battery and this. So this way no one pulls more than 10 or 15 amps at a time from this battery, especially when you're starting the car. So, yep, should be the exact same voltage because it's basically connected. So what we're going to do now, disconnect the battery and isolate. It's now the super caps are on their own and the battery is on their own. First, let's test the super caps and see how much capacity they still have. We're going to go by watt hours. It's a lot quicker and easier for me. Each string is rated from Amperix for three watt hours. So we're going to discharge it from, we're going to charge these back up actually to 14.4 or 14.5, somewhere around there real quick. And then we'll discharge them down to one volt and see what we get out of it. Now we're putting right now 12 amps at 180 watts. Oh no, it's dropping off already. We've gotten close to our hit setting. So we're going to stop here at 14.5. Okay, let's bring the voltage back down here. There we go. Now we have no charging current, just going to maintain 14.5 here for a few seconds. Yeah, we're at 14.58. Just out of curiosity, what were these high cells? And remember, these are 3 volt cells, so 2.92 is perfectly fine. 2.94, we're still perfectly fine. Those were the high cells on this stack. I think. Over here was kind of a high cell. Yeah, 2.91. They're still perfect. You're not going over it. And remember, my car, when it's running, never goes over 14.4 or 14.5 volts. So we're actually a little bit higher than what the car would ever get. So these cells still never see 3 volts. That's why they're not damaged. They're just naturally balanced nicely. So now we have this set up. Let's take off the charger. Okay, so we're going to take this all the way down to 1 one volt so this does say 14 and a half but it's going to be reading wrong as soon as we put a load on it a little bit so let's get this meter up and running over here see if i can get these to sit in these prongs i think in connection Woo there we go okay so we're set everything zeroed out we're going to be watching the watt hours we should have about six watt hours here so let's start turning up the course amperage here Let's put 10 amps on it. And let it run for a few minutes. See what it comes up with. Because, yeah, we're pulling 150 watts. It's going to slowly go down as the voltage goes down. Actually, let's go a little higher because uh, this unit is rated for 185 volt, 100, 185 watts. So let's really give it a bit of a workout here. There we go. Two, one, zero, done. 5.67 watt hours plus the, uh, you're going to have a little bit of a variance in it because of the uh, voltage drop through that much current. Remember, we were pulling up to 25 amps. Uh, I got 10 gauge wire here. It didn't really heat up. I'm sure there was still some resistance. So I will call this and say, yes, these capacitors, these super caps are still good. And they put out about six watt hours worth of energy. So these after one year are not hurt, damaged, worn out at all. So let's retool real quick and start testing the battery and see if we still get close to 10 amp hours on this. If I remember correctly off the top of my head without looking at my old videos, I believe this came out with like 9.5 or 9.7 amp hours. So let me find out the specs for testing this again real quick and we'll get it rigged up. Okay, so now we are re-rigged so we can test the battery itself. And I checked my old video. It was part of this series, video four, part four. And I got 9.8 amp hours and 124 watt hours out of it originally. So we're going to test from the current 13.3 voltage down to 11 volts at 3 amps discharge. This way it's the exact same discharge that I did last time a year ago. It's this way we can see. Actually this battery is probably a little bit more than a year ago. Uh, probably about a year and three months. So we're going to see how this handled the heat and the cold 
Uh, not really much of a load on it. And we only took this down to full discharge at 11 volts where the uh, protection kicks on and shuts off the output probably about a total of five times. And that was through the initial testing. Since I've set up this unit, the batteries never discharge anywhere near that point. So let's go ahead. I got everything zeroed out here. And let's get this up to three amps. Fine tune adjust here. Okay, good. Close enough. So this should take anywhere between three to four hours. So you can see the start here. And I will start the camera again when we get close to it. Uh, there's no reason for me to record for three to four hours but let's do a nice discharge curve you can see it comes down real quick and then it's just going to sit right here and it's nice and happy so we'll be back in about three hours okay we are now at 11 volts and this thing just keeps going off like crazy so let's turn off that okay cool so yeah now we're resting at 11.3 it does go down to 11.0 but we came out with a total of 103.26 watt hours. So it did drop a little bit, but nothing major. It still has most of its capacity. So we've lost about 20 watt hours, which is not that bad. So I'd say still very good. So let me go ahead and recharge this and we'll do a final. Okay, so now we have this battery charged up to 14 volts. It's happy again. All we got to do is charge the super caps again real quick before we connect it to the battery. Otherwise, we're going to suck a ton of power out of the battery. So this will only take a few seconds to charge. I have my power supply set for 14 volts. At, let me change it real quick to 12 amps. There we go. And here we go. We are charging. And you can see it come up real quick. So this will probably take about two or three minutes to charge, and then we'll put everything back together. See, that really didn't take long at all. Maybe, what, two, two and a half minutes or so? So, let's turn the power supply off. Okay, disconnect. Disconnect these leads. And let's switch this over. I just want to see real quick. Once we reconnect everything, let's go back to DC amperage. Zero out. So, let's connect my negative side and let's connect the positive side half an amp uh, let me see if I can move this down here but yep not even a half an amp just so they can balance themselves out now so that's a nice safe way if you discharge your super caps or you disconnect your battery for any length of time bring your super caps back up to the same voltage of your battery pack this way you don't put a lot, a lot of strain on it when you first reconnect so yep perfect 200 milliamps and it'll balance itself out within about another few minutes so let's throw our desk packs back in here just as a precaution and close it on up tuck in this red positive wire a little bit more seal it on up and this is now good for a whole nother year or more. I might do a two year review, I'm not sure, but all right, we'll see in a year, see where I'm at in my videos. But if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thumbs up please, and I'll see you in my next video.